What's up everyone, it's your boy Noah Brad 89 here bringing you another video and you know what time it is, Valentine's Day is almost here, that means love, romance is in the air, but it's also that time of season for Valentine's Day horror films and today I'm going to review one that came out in 2000, but you can clearly tell this was filmed in the 90s. Today we're going to talk about Lover's Lane from 2000 and yeah, this one was, uh, there's a little rough, rough spots getting through this film, so today we're going to talk about my positives, the negatives, the rating. And then I'm going to send you all home. So let's do this. Roll it. I also first want to give a quick shout out to Anthony's Horror and More for being also Horror YouTuber of the Month. Congratulations, by the way, but also an awesome shout out for nominating me. And that's a huge, huge honor for real. I never thought that would even be possible or anything. And also to all the nominees that I'm nominated with. It's a great honor to be nominated with so many other great, awesome horror YouTuber channel so make sure you go check out Anthony's Horror and more that channel definitely worth your time for sure now today what you came here to see and talk about is Lover's Lane like I said from 2000 this stars Sarah Lancaster Anna Ferris, and man this is a film that like I said takes takes the cake for being one of those films that it kind of really feels like the 90s when you watch this film it oozes 90s nostalgia but it was released in February I believe February 5th of 2000 is when they released this film but oh man let's just get right into the story real quick is that this one takes place right at this time at the beginning 13 years where we see this couple making out on lover's lane and then all of a sudden they're attacked by a man with a hook for a hand and then end up coming across another group of a couple that is actually slain and they're murdered and that is like kind of our setup and leads us to 13 years later and that kind of gets into the whole story of setting up the hook ray hennessy is charged with the murder of those teens and locked up in an insane asylum and then ends up escaping and that kind of you know kind of sets up the whole slasher horror mystery vibe because there's actually like quite a complex mystery goes on with this film but let's to be honest let's kind of talk about some of the mixed and negatives first before we get into the positives because this one was just there's a laundry list of negatives that just kept happening and happening to be honest with the low budget that did not help it at all there's absolutely a low budget the lack of budget with the kills are just the kills department completely lacking for real there's nothing amazing or interesting at all when it comes to the kills department and it's a lot of cutaway kills which is very frustrating for me another huge negative is that this film does not ooze any valentine's day vibes right now with this setup i got right here you see this and the hearts this right here and all this i got more valentine's day vibes going on right now in this room so that's what i mean besides the fact that it like takes place on valentine's day there's really no other kind of you know clear-cut way you can describe or see that it's that holiday and when I go to a holiday film that's one thing that I really do want is I want the film to just ooze that holiday nostalgia you know if it's a Christmas horror film I want to know it's freaking Christmas if it's a Thanksgiving horror film I want to know it's fucking Thanksgiving another glaring negative with this film is that the acting department is just not that great for real like when you sacrifice like having a bad budget and you don't have any great kills but add to that we have some really piss poor acting pretty much across the board like just in general like all the characters like I would say Anna Faris was probably the best actress in this movie and you can clearly tell that but she doesn't even get that many lines in the film of dialogue because she's just a side character she's not any of the main character and any of the main characters or anything like that so she doesn't get that many lines of dialogue so yeah when you have the best actor in your film only have about three minutes of actual dialogue and then all the other actors have you know laundry lists of dialogue and they're not that great like for real this film just was in the dumps another thing with this movie is that the story to be honest when i got to the end of this movie the story i feel like was way too complex for its own good because when i got to a certain point in that third act and things were happening and we were at this point i was like huh things took place and i was a little confused i was like who's this and who is this and why are they related to this person and it has that whole um small town syndrome thing where it's like you know everybody's kind of related to somebody and everybody knows this person or this person has history with this person so it becomes confusing and a web of like just confusion of no reason when it doesn't have to be and like I actually had to go to the Wikipedia page and read the plot synopsis for this film to really get a clear-cut answer of like who was what and why they did this and all this kind of stuff so yes very complex 
for no reason at all. Another thing is our killer design for Ray Hennessy. The hook is just god awful. One of the worst and generic kind of just like Walmart, you know, Hobby Lobby type designs you can get for a slasher killer. Like it looks really bad. Like it's just a plain blue suit, a ski mask, and like a very clean you know, hook, like a, you know, spirit Halloween, like cheap hook that you get from Party City or something. It's just, ah, oh, very bad. So yeah, this film just really left a lot to be desired for real. There's not a lot of positives. There's a couple here and there. Like I said, we're going to get to the positives. This wasn't a whole, all negatives. It just, there's a lot of negatives that are pulling down and weighing this movie down from being a really fun time. Let's talk about the couple positives that I do have with this film. And like I said, one is that it's a gem to see Anna Ferris in here. Like I said, it's a real gem early before the scary movie days before she blew up and became really famous you know what i mean and like I said she actually gets kind of a cool it's kind of a cool death scene it's almost there it's like you oh like when i was watching it i was like damn you're gonna do anna ferris like that but the thing is they don't really show you anything they leave a lot up to the imagination which is like for some people that's kind of cool but for me that's not my alley. You can talk to anybody. I'm much more a show me, don't tell me type person. I want to freaking see it. That's how I am. So, <laughs> but she's a gem. So Anna Ferris, great having her in here. And there's actually a few moments in this film that I genuinely laughed at. I probably shouldn't have been laughing, but there are a couple moments that I genuinely was laughing at because either because of a dialogue moment and something I might have said <laughs> as a rebuttal to the film or just the moment of way it was delivered or the lines that was going on because between the characters I genuinely laughed at some moments so those are my couple positives for Lover's Lane. So now we're here for the rad rating for Lover's Lane and in my book for the rad rating Lover's Lane is going to get a 3 out of 10. Yes this film like I said left a lot to be desired and it was all those just huge huge negatives just weighing weighing this film down and not enough positives at all to really make this any kind of like a decent watch or any kind of film that I'm going to be returning to anytime soon but like I said I can check this one off the list in terms of Valentine's Day horror movies that I have seen but really after this watching this movie I really do have to cleanse my palate and I want to watch something else. Thanks for sticking around with me all as we chatted Lover's Lane. Please let me know down below in the comment section if you've seen this film. I would love to chat with you and if not just hey, say hey what's up. I would love to chat with you as well and leave a like on this video that greatly helps out the channel. Share the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and poke that notification notification bell so you're notified anytime I post a video. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.